Roman! Yeah! Evening. My name is Roman, as he just said. Very eloquently. So, you know, guys, being up here is a little bit nerve wracking, right? It does make me a little bit nervous. It reminds me of this time when I was lying flat on my back in a bar in, in Texas, being whipped by my own belt by a bartender. So, <laughs> yeah, that happened. So, we were bar hopping in Austin, right? And we went to Coyote Ugly, just like the movie, right? So it was a pretty cool place. Everybody was having fun. The bartenders were dancing on top of the bar. And every so often, they would bring somebody up to dance with them. And me, I was pretty drunk. So I'm like, me! <laughs> Funny thing is they actually brought me up. <laughs> yeah, we started dancing and everything was fine for like 20 seconds. Then the girl pushes me down. I'm lying flat on my back on the bar and she starts fumbling at my belt. And I'm like, oh shit, I guess this is happening. <laughs> so she gets my belt, but she stopped there. And she started whipping me with my own belt. Oh shit. Yep. So here I am, drunk out of my mind, on top of a bar in Texas. The only thing I could tell her was, gently. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> so, I live in Georgia, right? Very close to my house, there's this brunch place that's called All My Georgia Peaches. And my wife and I call it All My Georgia Peaches. <laughs> so this one Friday, uh, Saturday morning, I turned around in bed and I told my wife, or I tried to tell my wife, Honey, would you like some custard or some peach cobbler from that place that you love. But honestly, I was pretty hungover. <laughs> and I was more than half asleep. So the only thing I could really say was, want some bitches? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to say that there were no peaches in my house that night. <laughs> I think there was only the one bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when I moved here to Georgia, I was looking for something familiar, right? So Taco Tuesdays, that was my jam. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. But then one day I thought to myself, you know what? I really need to find out why everyone goes crazy over a piece of fried chicken inside of a biscuit. Hell yeah. Right. <laughs> Got you, <girl. laughs> So I got on my car and I got in line in uh, Chick-fil-A. Yes, sir. You know that line between anywhere between five and 27 cars, right? However, they're super damn efficient. I mean, I was in that line and I was thinking to myself, you know, Mr. Chick-fil-A, you really should run for Congress. <laughs> <laughs> or, or we should have Chick-fil-A running the DMV. And think about it for a second. If Chick-fil-A was running the DMV, you could get on the line, you would need to ask for a day of work, you could get on the line, and within a couple of minutes of being on the line, somebody would come over to you and say, what you gonna get? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm here to renew my license. Sure. License renewal on lane four, license renewal on lane four. Got his picture already. And you know, the DMV, and Chick-fil-A, they're not really that different. They both get a lot of people, right? They both want you to pay in cash. And if you go to the bathroom, they're both gonna smell like chicken farts. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my Chick-fil-A. But first I gotta say that when I first moved to the South, people would tell me, Bless your heart. And I had a really hard time understanding that. I mean, what are you supposed to answer to that? How, how do you respond to that? Like, yours too? <laughs> or are you supposed to say something like, bless your heart too, but you know, in the time of me too, this is probably not a good look. <laughs> so, a friend of mine told me, you know, most of the time, when somebody tells you bless your heart, it's like 
blessings, right? Like the um, like the Tweety birds you see in your mom's Facebook wall. <laughs> but every so often, somebody means it like, "Fuck you very much." Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I went back. I went back to. I'm back on my on the Chick Fil A. I'm trying to get my chicken biscuit. I get it. I had to pull over because this was kind of a religious experience for me. I'm not sure if you can tell because I'm wearing black, but I'm a little fat. <laughs> so anyway, I'm there. I unwrap it. I smell it. Not sure if anybody here remembers your first time that you had a chicken biscuit. Because I do. So I had my first bite, and all I could say was, fuck. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> Thank you guys. God! Holy shit! <laughs>